Snake! Frog! Hello everyone, it's next one here. Most of you left your comment said you want to learn Kung Fu animal style. With the Kung Fu animal style, you have to at least know the basic hand forms first for the animal you are going to imitate. For example, you want to do a tiger form. You have to know how to hold tiger claws properly or mantis. You have to know how to hold mantis hands properly first. So in this tutorial, we are not going to imitate them, but we are going to learn all of the hand forms for the animal style. And at the same time, we will practice together with our Kung Fu fundamental senses to build up a solid strong foundation. So later on, when you are learning animal style, will become so much easier. Alright, let's go through all of the animals we are going to learn today. First, we are going to learn how to hold snake hand properly, okay? Tiger, monkey, eagle, mantis, crane, duck. So this is a unique one, duck. Duck, if you go to Southern Temple, you will see duck form there, okay? Scooping. And like the last frog, frog form is unique as well. It's very good to do all of the animal style in the nature. Let's start with the first animal, snake. We face without direction. Body shut up. Put your hands next to your waist. Fingers together being your thumbs. So this is snake hands. Okay, fingers together, snake hands. And Left leg are front as bow stands. So bow stands for snake. Kumbu. Snake. Or hand. Strike. Strike. Okay. And the other side. The same. Strike. If you don't want to move your hand, you just hold your hand like this without moving. Or you can move your hand like a circle first. It's so like this. Strike. Circle. Okay, circle. Don't do horizontally yet. And that's later on when you're learning snake. That's later on when you're learning snake form. Okay, so make it simple. Just move your hand like a circle. Also, you can add a sound of snake, like sound. So start from the beginning. Both stands for snake. Straight first and move your arm like a circle. So straight like this. Straight. Okay? And the other side. Circle. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Horse stance for tiger. So horse stance, hold your fist next to your waist. And for tiger, you can stomp your foot. And Strike with your tiger claws. Bah! So with the tiger claws, let's come a bit closer. Use your left hand, hold a fist. Your right hand to grab your fist. Use the tiger claw. Okay. Use your thumb, put in this hole. The other side, put in the other side. And the top of three fingers, just lock the fist. See? Lock the fist. This is tiger claw. And the other side the same. Okay. We start from the snake. Horse stands for tiger. And next is monkey. So with the monkey is called empty stance. Empty stance for monkey. Let's do the stance first. Right foot, toes pointing out about 45 degree and crouch on your right leg. 
most of the weight on your right leg and left leg just on your toes and because from your left leg is empty that's why it's called empty stance between two legs is one fist or one and a half distance when you imitate the monkey this is for monkey to look for something okay so your right hand up left hand as a strike strike with the elbow also to stretch to get you warm okay and the other side is the same block strike so make it simple just strike don't imitate it yet okay so you don't need to crouch low for beginner you can stand a bit higher once you get used to it you can crouch it lower all right now let's practice those three stances together start from the beginning both stands for slip change horse stands for tiger empty stands for monkey change I finish all right everyone let's move on to the next three stands from monkey T stands for eagle. So with the eagle claws, let's see. Eagle claws is like this. You can do like this. Bend your thumb, index finger, I made the finger. See? This is like eagle claws. The other side the same. But some people do like this. Bend those two fingers. All good, okay? T stands for eagle. Keep your liver toes and that's called Dimbu in Mandarin. Dimbu, eagle. So this is like an eagle sitting on the rock. See, eagle. This is we are practicing with eagle claws. But later on, when you are imitating a eagle, sometimes you do this move with the hand to become eagle's wings. Okay, this is eagle claw and this is eagle's wings. Okay, we are doing eagle claws first. Okay, and from here, eagle, the other side, eagle, pa. Next one is mantis, praying mantis. With the praying mantis, the hand is like this. See? You strike with your index finger and middle finger. Strike, strike. See, strike. Ba, ba. Quite strong. The other hand the same. Okay. Resting stance for mantis. Hebu. Raise your arms up. Mantis hand. Strike. From up, strike to the left. At the same time, your left leg snip kick and put your left leg behind your right leg on your left foot toes and crouching all the way down. Put your left leg behind your right leg. This is mantis, okay? You can move your hands like a circle, the other side the same. Hands raise up straight to the right and at the same time, you kick with your right leg put your right leg in the back mantis next move crouching stance for crane crouching stance right leg step out let's go pull bull cross your hands and over your wings the other side the same up crane and the other side and you can move your wings okay let's do those three animals together from eagle T stands for eagle Resting stance for mantis. 
change. Crouching stands for crane. Open your wings, up, and change. And move your wings. Okay, please be aware with the crane, one leg stands. The first is hook your hands. Fingers together like a hook. Okay, fingers together. And next one is your wings. And move your wings. Okay? And relax. Okay, let's move on to the next three animals. So we start from crane. Next one is duck. So duck we call stay big. Four six stance. So this is called four six stance. Four six stance is like from horse stance. You shift your weight if you're going to crouch on your right leg. Your left leg, toes pointing front. Four six stance called si liu bu, which means forty percent weight on your left leg, sixty percent weight on your right leg. So this four six stance, and they all say the same. 40% and 60%. Okay? The special move to imitate the duck, you have to do duck walking. With the duck walking, quite a challenge. You have to make a crouching stance, moving around like this. See? Duck walking like this. So that's duck walking. Okay? So from here, quite a challenge. You crouch, you kick. Why? Two, three, four, six stands. Now try one more time from crane. Left leg back. Four, six stands for duck. And one, two, three, four, six stands again. After duck, I come back. Is scooping. Scooping. We stand up first. Left elbow, right leg. And we swap our legs and into scooping. Hold up. Scooping. You can move around like this. And the are set. Okay. Lucky last. Frog. On your knees. Frog. You can pump up air in your mouth. Basic move for frog. You can, you can turn around. On your knees and double kick. And lucky last a bit tricky, you have a jump, kick, back. So the last move quite a challenge. If you cannot jump like that, you can do like this. Pa. Okay? And back. Finish. Okay. Let's do all of the animal hand forms with the stances together. Start from the beginning. Bow stands for snake. Horse stands for tiger. Empty stands for monkey. So we don't come back together like this. We just move on for monkey. One, two. T stands for eagle. Resting stands for mantis. Crouching stands for crane. Over your wings, okay? Over your wings. Hook your hands first and change, become a wing. You move your wings. Four, six days for duck. And scooping stance. And move. Change. And frog.
Okay, everyone. That's all of the animal imitation hand forms. Remember, practice makes better and perfect. Happy training, happy life. We'll see you next time.